this is Zwarakira the Aspie Gamer once again, and it's time to continue on with Corpse Party Blood Cover. Well, it's time to finally tackle Chapter 5. Come on, Sachiko, show me your stuff. I just wanted to lose consciousness. The deepest part of my brain had become thoroughly clouded over. And there were moments where I felt as though I could almost slip away. But the intense pain would always wrench me back to my senses before I could follow through. I would have welcomed even a momentary loss of consciousness with open arms, but any sort of respite from my suffering was plainly denied. Was plainly denied me. I almost thought that was that, that was improper grammar, but no, I think that's correct. The only possible escape was death, and death was certainly at hand, but it was taking an eternity to reach me. I was like a shellfish removed from its shell. I knew my fate, but only the chef could make the end come, and she was savoring my torment. No! 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 Yay! The, fir the third victim was stabbed in the left eye an indeterminate number of times. Until it became like soup. Until her eyeball became soup like in consistency. Wow, they just love using that. Don't that word, don't they? She was uh, eventually I, I was reading that. You're a tenacious one, aren't you? It hurts. It hurts. Somebody help me. It'll all be over if you just die already, you know. Well, she already talked about that. <laughs> there. Now that it's all nice and mushy, let's see. Oh, come on! Look, Sachiko. If you're gonna... If you're gonna talk, let me read. Okay, moving on. Strangely, it was only after these mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Hmm, now open up and say, ah! Uh, great! Oh, mommy. Chapter 5. This is Chico. <laughs> Dare I say it seems even more evil than the other one. <laughs> Oh, back to this again. My, you're really shaking. What's the matter? Um... <laughs> I don't... Um... I didn't think Yuka knew about that. But... I'll just choose to stay silent. Watch me die. Joy. Oh, this time, Yuka's in the lead. Great. I suppose I should head back to the entrance. 
You really are shaking. Um, may I ask what your sister is like? Oh, certainly. She's a very cute girl. Little girl. Quite small, but with great big eyes. I see. Her hair is short. And she's in junior high school. And as I recall, she was always wearing a blue smock. Huh? What? <laughs> Yuka? I, I strongly suggest you run away as fast as you can. The ghosts are the least of your problems. Um, I think I'll be okay on my own. I'll look for my big brother by myself. What are you saying, Yuka? I am your big brother. Oh, gosh, no! You are my little sister. And there is simply no way out of here. Everyone is going to die! So let's continue to be brother and sister until we have our dying... Until our dying breaths. For however long we may have. Um. Goodbye! Yuka -chan. Oh, I'm not in control. Okay. Yuka, I wouldn't recommend going that way. Something dreadful happened downstairs just a moment ago. Huh? <laughs> oh, okay, I am in control. Don't know if he's chasing me, but I imagine he will be. Oh, hi there! <laughs> How are you still even uh, remotely alive? Um, are you alright? <laughs> Who are you? My name is Mochita. Um, your stomach is bleeding really bad. I'll try to find you something to stop it. My handkerchief. Won't help for a wound this big. Come on, Yuka. Think! Think! Ah, uh, you... You need to get away from here. Right now. Hurry! But if I don't do something about your injuries, you're going to die. I'll just apply pressure, okay? Stay with me. No, please! Just go! Kurosaki. Who on earth could have done this to you? Rude! That's for not listening to your big brother, Yuka. <laughs> She's going into convulsions. How ghastly. Kizami! Stop this! Kizami! Kizami! I'm sorry. Pardon? I should have done more to stop you when we were kids. I'm your best friend after all. Wow, Kurosaki, you have some pretty lousy friends. But I never filled that role very well. I never did the things I should have. What are you going on about? Have you really deluded yourself into thinking you're my best friend? Exactly! I don't recall you ever standing up for me. Not even one time. <laughs> yeah, I... I guess I really haven't been a very good friend. <laughs> well, you won't be regretting that for long. But I must say... I am rather curious about these things you should have done as my so-called best friend. Please, do enlighten me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe something like this? Yeah! That one really hurt, you know. Stop blaming other people for everything, you coward. Take a good look around you, Kizami. Take a good look at who you're up against. No one is conspiring against you. 
We're no threat. We're your friends. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid, and you know it. You're the coward, Kurosaki. My stomach it really hurts. Big brother. Back to your senses, are you, Yuka? Oh dear! Everything is just fine now. Your big brother will protect you. Um, no! Your big, strong brother will make sure to keep you safe. Nope! Yuka? Run! What's this? A key? Sign- Oh no. No, 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 well, don't worry. I won't let them. No, I'll protect you from that horrible fate. For you see, I'll put an end to it myself. I'll snuff out that tiny, tiny life of yours. Big brother! No fair running. Wait for me. Um, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. I'm getting out of here. Oh, hey, Sachiko. I... Don't know if it's a good idea to save or not. I see, Sachiko. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I think I'll head for Sachiko. As bad an idea as this is. What? <laughs> Let's try to leave. It's locked up tight. Yeah. Kurosaki's body is so badly wounded that it's literally been flayed open. His internal organs are on display for our gray. I am getting away from you, mister! Yuka! Forget the spirits, this guy is the scariest thing ever. This guy is the scariest thing in the school. Even scarier than Sachiko, and that's saying something. Like, this is seriously the first time in this game I've been legit uh, legitimately, truthfully scared. Kind of. Oh dear, I've cornered myself. Ah! This is a bad ending. Live rabbits are so very noisy. Oh, hey, Morshig. Strange. I know that you're crazy, but uh, I'd rather have you chasing me right now than you, you over here. Mayu? Mayu, where are you? How long have we been here? It must be the middle of the night by now. My, am I ever thirsty? Oh, Mayu, don't you realize how very worried I am about you? How are you holding up right now, I wonder? What sorts of thoughts are swimming through your mind? You scare so easily, and you have such a fragile soul. You really do need me by your side. Shig, bro, wait up! Huh? What's wrong? Not going to club today? Hmm. That's a good question. What is wrong? They're holding auditions for the lead, you know? Oh, I know. But... I just don't think I'm cut out for the role. How come? I mean... I've seen how much you want it. 
You've been poring over that script for the last month. Not to mention practicing lines in the gym equipment room. You saw that? How embarrassing. Next time you should say something. But you were so into it. I was actually just kind of happy to see you in your element like that. Well, either way, I'm giving up on that particular role. But why? After all that study and practice. Everyone knows the parts in our production teams are chosen based on popularity, not acting talent. Mayu, you're an upright idealist individual. Idealistic individual. So you're probably going to think I'm a bit of a spineless character. But I refuse to attend an audition when I know it won't make a bit of difference. Aww. I truly hate it. I always make an effort to attend social events and put on a pleasant front. But, well, I guess it all comes down to the fact that I'm simply not well liked. But, I like you. You're a good actor, Shig. You shine in the spotlight. Really shine. And you look like you're enjoying it, too. But if you hate it that much, then, yeah, it's really not worth it. I mean, if you have to force yourself, then you're not having fun at all, right? And what's the point in that? Besides, at least I've got to see it. Shig's secret... Rasolnik... Raskolnikov. <laughs> That's a fun name to say. I always like names like that. I mean, Zwataketa... Yeah. I like names like that. Uh... Come on, we'll head out together. Oh, but how about we stop at the crepe stand on our way home? Doesn't that sound yummy? Chocolate bananas, man. They apparently have a new one on the menu, and I'm just itching to try it out. <laughs> Poor Shig. Mayu. I'm well aware. If I'm not there for you, Mayu. It's plain to see how much danger you'll be in. That's what I've been telling myself all this time, anyway. <laughs> but that's not the real reason I'm trying so hard to find you. No, nothing so noble. Every time I saw your face and heard you greet me with that shig bro, you'd always say, you were saving my life. Please, Mayu, I need you. Please, show yourself. Don't leave me all alone. Just once more. I have to see the suffering of others. It's the only thing keeping me sane. Oh dear. And I am still sane. I am. God, I've taken so many of them. So many pictures of the dead. It's so weird. They're all real honest-to-goodness corpses, but to me, they just look like fakes. Nothing, to pro nothing but props. Realistic ones, granted. Much more detailed and lifelike than the cheap fake bodies you see on television and in movies. <laughs> hmm. This one is the flashiest by far. Utterly pulverized against the wall near the front. Oh. Absolutely breathtaking. She's been reduced to nothing more than a chaotic, chaotic jumble of flesh. But not long ago, all of it was connected. This was once a human being, walking and talking, with a mind of her own. Should there truly be an afterlife? She must be embarrassed to show her face there, with such a hideously disfigured appearance. You might want to think about who you're talking about. I realize you don't know, but... Uh... I'd probably feel bad for her if she wasn't a complete stranger. Oh, <laughs> oh the irony. <laughs> What's going on? If I'm receiving a call, then why is the plastic thing still in photo view mode? There's no message telling me who's calling either. Just a ringtone. Maybe, maybe the OS is shot. Don't look. Don't look. Huh? Please, don't look at me.
<laughs> what? Please, don't look at me. Stop staring at my insides. Chig, please. Ooh. Yep, if he wasn't if he wasn't insane before, he is now. I get the feeling that this is a very long bad ending. Or not? The girl in the red dress. Huh. I think I may have seen her. Her ghost, anyway. When I was with Seiko in one of the dark classrooms, she was crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her too, in the shadows when Yuka and I were walking through the hall earlier. It's like she's keeping an eye on us. We also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the heavenly host kidnapping and murder case. There were photos of the four vi victims, and she was one of them. There's no doubt in my mind, that ghost girl we've both seen is definitely Sachiko. But how is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed. She survived. And if that's the case, shouldn't she have grown up into a proper adult by now? She'd have to look older than us at the very least. Hang on. <coughs> Ugh, my throat. Staying behind in a place like this and out or the other victims. Just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Yeah, that part bothers me too. I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, through some unrelated accident or something, Sachiko lost her life as well. If we can somehow meet up with her spirit, maybe we can learn more about what happened. More than what was reported, at the very least. If it's the way to getting everybody out of here safely. I'll take my chances with this school curse. Or whatever it is. Once we find Yuka, what say we look for Tachiko as well? Okay. Though I'm worried, I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah. We need to find some means of getting back to the other building. What? This one feels completely different from any of the others. Oh god, it's a big one! The school can't possibly... Naomi, are you alright? Hang on to me. Okay. Don't let go. I won't. Just keeps going. Naomi! It's a ceiling beam. Satoshi! He's bleeding. Satoshi! Satoshi! Speak to me! Are you okay? No! Satoshi! No! Please don't kill me! Don't kill me, please! No! Shinozaki! Shinozaki, snap out of it! Shinozaki! Are you alright? Are you done? Okay. Nope. Yes, Livy? Okay, just... just a moment. Uh, it's okay. Everything's okay. Come on, Shinosaki, everything's fine, we're safe. And we will continue this after dinner!
Okay, dinner is in. Check. We're gonna have a bad time in the science lab when we get around to that. Check. If Skype's clearly turned off. Check. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, it's okay. Everything's okay. Okay? Come on, Shinsaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. <laughs> Again with that. What the? That's what happened to me. <clears throat> what what's it like? What did you see? I saw the true identity of the the murderer. Huh? Huh? That's why the doll wasn't enough. Repentance from the killer. We had the wrong person! Wait, are you telling me you were actually there? Like, you saw the scene of the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound, and then I was killed. Darn it, you little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. The murderer was a little girl. You remember the newspaper art? The cool Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress, Sachiko Shinozaki. She was listed as one of the victims, but believe me, she's no victim. Huh? What? <laughs> no, that can't be right. That's impossible. For a little girl to do something like that. How could she abduct other children her own age and keep them prisoner, none, no less? I could believe it if it were that monster with the hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up little kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. When, those, when these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. You can't be serious! I have no idea why he would have helped Sajiko in the first place, though. We have to tell the others! Mochita and Miss Yui! Yeah, I guess. Even Naho wasn't able to find out the whole truth. And she's been in there longer than any of us! If we don't hurry up and tell them, they'll be dead before they ever find out. If Sachiko catches them unaware, it could be all it could all be over. We have to go back. Yuki, please! Take us back into the closed spaces. We'll find a way to exercise you and all the other spirits trapped in Heavenly House. I swear. I wouldn't recommend that. As a result of your interference, as well as the interference of your friends, those spaces are in a state of critical, critical flux right now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home. Home again. Okay, I said that right. But if we don't go back, everyone's going to die. Kishinuma, let's go, please, for our friends. Come on, for Mochita. Oh boy. No. I'm sorry, but no. I don't want to set one foot in that place ever again. And you shouldn't either. We'd have to be out of our minds to go back there. We'd die for sure. Why? Why do you always have to be like that? That's what I hate about you. You don't care about anyone's feelings but your own. And you're so stubborn once you've set your mind on something. Are you honestly saying you're fine as long as you get through this alive? Oh, don't you dare try to psychoanalyze me. We'll die, and I don't want to die. That clear enough for you? Fine. Do whatever you want. It was stupid of me to even bother asking. I'll go by myself. I can't believe you. Do you really not care about rescuing your friends? Uh, 
You're a delinquent, a coward. I'm not gonna say that last one. Everyone's going to die, and you don't even care. You don't care about everyone either. The only person you care about is Satoshi. Uh oh. You can drop the act. It's gotten pretty old. Always Mochita this, Mochita that. Well, I hope you two are happy together in eternal damnation. Okay, I don't. Nah. nah. But before you go, at least try to read the writing on the wall. I have no idea what you're talking about. I'm telling you, I love you, darn it! What? You're so oblivious. You've been watching Satoshi so closely, you never even noticed how much I care about you. I mean, this has been a weird situation and all, but when we got separated from him, and you and I wound up alone together, I have to admit, it made me kind of happy. I thought maybe it would be a good chance to catch your eye and draw it away from his. But the whole time, all you could think about was him. You probably kept wishing with Satoshi by your side instead of me. Well, Satoshi's not here, so I am. So look at me, darn it. From the bottom of my heart, I... Stop it! Just stop it, please. How could you think any of that is true? Which is not the only one I'm worried about. Remember just a few short hours ago, when everyone was cleaning up after a cultural festival and complaining about it the whole time? Isn't it that a precious memory to you? I want us to have experiences like that again. There's still so much I want to share with all of you. That's why I'm going back. Because if I don't, we can never be together again. And the thought of that absolutely mortifies me. So please, Yuki, take me back. I don't care if I have to go it alone. Just please, hurry, before it's too late. You're certain? Yes, please. As you wish. Just for the record, Kishinuma. I'm absolutely terrified of this, but I'm still doing it. Darn it. Do whatever you want. I'm going home. Yeah, haha. <laughs> okay, for sale, I thought I was gonna be able to walk in this. Okay. I'm going home. I'm gonna see her. Although, I should probably mention this. I should probably mention this. The, the way that scene worked out, happened, turned out, yeah, turned out, uh, happened, you may have noticed it happened differently than how it happened in the original Corpse Party. That's because I originally chose yes, uh, when Ayumi told Yoshiki to go with her in that case. If you choose no, basically, oh, whoops, a similar situation happens. It, it, basically, the same thing happens. Script is a bit different, obviously, but yeah. We're collecting to buy a bouquet of flowers for a dear friend, Suzumi, who will be leaving us for a new school after the festival. 300 yen per person. Well, that money kinda. <laughs> I don't know who those flowers will go to now. Maybe her funeral? They're. They're all gone now. Eh. What does it even matter? It'll just be like my 10th grade year all over again. I can go back to being a lone wolf. No biggie. I'm pretty much used to it, honestly. What? I'm sorry, what? Oh, hey, Yoshiki, what are you up to? S Satoshi? <laughs> What kind of face is that? You've been, you've been skipping meals again or something? Oh! It's a memory, okay. Kishinuma, you're late! But you seem in good spirits again today, at least. Suzumoto. Oh 
You don't care about everyone either. The only care about you, person you care about is Satoshi. What was I thinking? Why would I have said that to her? That wasn't it at all. It's not even remotely what I wanted to say. I just wanted to protect her. What is wrong with me? I'll probably never see her again. I take it back. I take it all back. Please, God, let me take it all back. It's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will be together forever. Or we'll always be friends anyway. That's the gist of it. Join it. Show yourself. Get out here, gross girl. Please, I'm begging you. How could I be? Not gonna say that. Please, I don't want. I don't want to lose them. Shinazaki, Satoshi, Miss Yui, everybody. Oh, hi, Yuki. Sorry, but please, take me too. I was about to run from this, the way I always do. But, when I first started hanging out with those losers, I felt like I was reborn. So please, Shinozaki is scared of everything, but even she's giving this her best shot. And I'm not about to let her offstage me. I swear, we're both going to wrench that repentance from Sachiko with our bare hands if we have to. And put all the rest of you at peace once and for all. Oh, control. Yay. Is this a different closed space? What the? I got a text? But, I've had no service this whole time. Actually, I still have no service. Shinozaki, where are you? I'm here too. Let's meet up. Shishinuma, you came through after all. Let's see if he gets my reply. Message sent. And received. I'm worried about you being all by yourself. Jerk. I appreciate it. I was starting to feel kind of overwhelmed. Come quickly. And send. I do feel a little better now. Actually, that was probably the first time I've ever responded to a text message from Kishinuma. <laughs> but he's not coming, is he? Maybe I should try texting him again. What are you doing? Where are you? Send. Phone probably just realized it's supposed to have no service here. That's all. But if he's in the school, I'm sure I'll run into him eventually. 